Well, I mean, I'm going to probably be here every Saturday for the next one. See, while. I want to do more than that. I want to win the offline info war, too. And if a bunch of us do that, right. because the protest, you get 300 people here. If even half of us reached out to people on a more consistent basis, we could probably save the city. So, well, I hear you. as I you'd hear like. You. I think maybe get, get back to me next week. Yeah, I mean, sure, I man. I think I'm good for the next week, anyway. All right, I'll, man. I'll keyboard warrior it on Facebook, trying to change my friends' minds. See, online is fine. I think if we can re win the offline info war, if a bunch of us guys got along, got together, and reached out to everybody else, 300 men and a million bucks could save this city. And, and think about it for next time. Think about it for next time. Otherwise, I don't want to bother. I, I hate bothering people. I hate being bothered. So don't worry about it at all. We're cool as long as we don't mess with each other. So I ain't mess with you. You ain't mess with me. Don't worry about it. We'll see you again. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Brian. Hey, Mark. You're here. You got any thoughts for the camera? I'm very concerned for my country, BK. I'm with you, Mr. Mark. So explain that. You've got a wise old man beard. You should be able to pass on some cool shit. What's up? Well, I think we got the Bolshevik Revolution 2.0 technocracy style happening. I'm with you. The unfortunate thing is most people can't recognize it. Because the first Bolshevik Revolution was 100 years ago. These guys have had a lot of time to adapt to their techniques and their methods. And they're using covert means that people can't see. It's a communist takeover, brother. I agree. Trouble in and communist Canada. Never had anything to do with the virus. Yep. Yep. No, this is a pretext for more. Wild stuff, wild stuff, wild well, stuff. One of the planks of the Communist Manifesto was private central banking, right? That's yeah. been a reality for for so long that they've been running that scam so long that the bubble got so huge, yeah. it had to burst. Yeah. And I think what we're witnessing is a controlled collapse, a controlled bursting of the bubble. Yeah. And this virus is being used as the pin to burst the bubble that was going to burst anyways. So now everyone's pointing at the pin. Instead of looking at the, the bankers there with their little pump, yep. they're pumping that bubble up until it burst. Yep. No one's looking at them. Yep. They're looking at the pin. I agree. I totally agree. Totally agree. Awesome. Let's 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 hang out after this. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get a whole bunch of people out to, to, to get a feel for where they're at. Cool? Yeah man. Yeah man, let's keep it up. Let's cool. keep it up. Uh how you doing man? Good to solve. Not too bad, sir. Do you mind if I get uh, uh, your thoughts on what's going on? Your first name and your thoughts? My first name is Kenneth. Kenneth, thank yeah. you, Kenneth. It says here, disobedience is the true foundation of liberty and the lockdown put Canada back to work. Yeah. So Kenneth and young lady, you're with Kenneth? Yes. What's your name? Judy, thank you, Miss Judy. BK, uh, Kenneth and Judy, BK, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Live you. free or die, no quarantine, no mandatory vaccines, no restrictions, and tyranny now. We the people do not consent. So, Kenneth, Judy, which one of you wants to say a couple of things first? Well, she's a better talker than I am. She is? The firebrand, Miss Judy, you go ahead. Well, I'm here for freedom because freedom is for everybody, freedom is essential. It's my body, my choice. Nobody has a right to tell me what I should put in my body. Once we lose the freedom for bodily autonomy, no other freedom really matters. Because right. if they can decide for me what goes into my body, then what else matters? So we can't let them do that. We have to stand up for our freedoms. They're essential for everybody. And Absolutely. What kind of a world do we want to leave our children? Yeah, it's not, it's not as if like we're telling other people not to do. If they want to do that, that's fine with us there. I mean, but don't force us, you know, to take stuff we don't want there. Uh, well, anyway. I agree. The whole, we, the whole idea is... Uh, we made the same choice. arguments against swine flu yeah, last time. We yeah. said, if you think it works and yeah. you don't want to look into Go it, ahead. you take yeah, it, I'm but you shouldn't stopping. make us take it because no. you think it works. Yeah, exactly. So what? If you think it works and I go, uh, yeah, uh, you exactly. go, hey, you yeah. got shot. Same thing. Meanwhile, there's a tons of bad, 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 you know, tons of, uh, of info on vaccines talking about how there have been problems yeah. with them. So, um, of course. Yeah, awesome. Same, same thing there. Uh, opening up the whole country there. To me, if... 
I'm willing to take the risk. I'm willing to take the risk and go in a crowded restaurant, a crowded stadium, a crowded uh, anything there. Right. Because I know that I'm 99% sure I'm not going to get it there. So I'm willing to take the risk. If you don't want to take the risk, then stay home, build yourself a big bubble there and stay in there and the rest of your life. I don't want to live the rest of my life like this. I'm 70 years old there. I might have another 15 years left in me. I don't want to live like the way they want us to live. Totally understood. And plus, you're fighting for the, the next generation. You yeah, had it pretty exactly, good. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I know. My, even I had kids, it pretty good till my, now. My grandkids there. They're all. They're gonna end up. What are we gonna do? Go to a restaurant, face mask, sit six feet apart. Is yeah. that Is that our new uh, life now? Yeah. It doesn't make sense at no, a lot of levels, you know. No. And we've had enough time now. Initially, everyone's scared. Yeah, exactly. I got vitamin C. I got tonic water. I was like, yeah. uh-oh, what is this? Yeah. But then a couple of months later, you're like, okay, you were That's liars. Right. Yeah. You, you fooled exactly. us. And exactly. uh, and it's now time for payback. Exactly. Enough. Exactly. Enough's enough. Well, every time they tell us that if you've mm -hmm. gone, if you gone over, uh, overseas there, yep. you come mm -hmm. back there, 14-day yep. quarantine. Yep. To me, 14-day quarantine means it's over. After the 14 days, you're supposed mm -hmm. to be better you can go out they say right so here we're almost two months now we're locked in there yeah it doesn't make any sense it just drags on and yeah. on and on and yeah. yet it only acts like a super infectious disease exactly. in socialist communist or terrorist places exactly. where they really want to control their people That's meanwhile right. the same virus doesn't seem to do anything oh, in exactly. other places yeah. it's like, whoa exactly. something's weird here because yeah. it's not about the virus yeah that's the whole thing it's got nothing to do with the viruses We've never been locked down in our history yeah. for something like this. And we've had much more contagious things with H1N1. Yep. There was no lockdown for that. There was no lockdown for the swine flu. Sure. I mean, what's the big deal now? And just the other day, Cuomo came out there. I don't know if you heard it there. He said that of all the people that died there, 60% of them were quarantined in their homes. Crazy. Crazy. Meanwhile, they let prisoners out of jail yeah, because they might be exactly. too close together. They force us to stay in our apartments. Exactly. What the heck? Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. I know. Awesome. Uh, Kenneth and Judy, right? Yes. yes. Kenneth and Judy. Uh, would you like to Would you like to share your email? I'm going to email people about other things well, we can do about this. Okay. Would you like to? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You can scratch it down here. Um, and if they're you're interested, fine. If not, fine. We're polite, patriotic Canadians don't bother each other. But uh, but we want to do more about this than less. At least many of us. And so if 300 people here are, are active, yeah. and then if, you know, say 100, 200 of us want to consistently reach the other 5 million, right. yeah. we'll, exactly. we'll, we'll open them up. Yeah. You know, exactly. they yeah. can show 30 seconds on the mainstream news and call us yahoos. Yeah. But if we say, no, we're not, look yeah. at how well we get along. Exactly. Look at how much we care about each other yeah. in the country. Exactly. Yeah. Take us seriously, because we're taking you seriously. Yeah. Then they'll go, all right, I'll at least look into it. Yeah. I'll at least look at something, right? Yeah. So that's exactly. the idea. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And uh, awesome. No, no, sorry, sorry about that, Miss Judy. No, no, it's okay. Uh, Judy Grosworth at hotmail.com. Ken and Judy, awesome. Um, yeah, and, and with respect to this, like I said, we beat swine flu last time. For people that didn't want to talk, didn't want to argue, we just gave them a small piece yeah. of paper, like you know, 10, 10 per eight and a half by eleven page, right. and just said, here you go. And yeah. and people were coming up to us for vaccine. People were running up to us for vaccine exemption forms, yeah. like tons of grateful parents were like, are you the guys with the vaccine? Yeah. Because people are worried, right? Yeah. People from all over the greater exactly. Toronto area. So yeah. I'm saying that not to talk about us, but to give you some sort of hope to say that even though we're quiet, we're not stupid. Yeah. And when it, when, it, when it comes time to, to, to sort of being concerned and, and thinking, exactly. you know, we can do it. So we're like a silent majority. Yeah, we're just too polite. Like we're yeah. not too, yeah. maybe too polite, maybe not too polite, but yeah. even at a house party, yeah. I wouldn't talk to you about this. No. Like, yeah, that's I, for sure. Yeah. I, I had friends at house parties, buddy's, yeah. buddy's wife is pregnant, right? right? And I was like, listen, man, congratulations. Yeah. I took this little, small, little piece of paper. It looks just like this. Yeah. Sorry, so I'll show you one thing. 2009. There's any left. Oh, wait. There we go. Um, so, my buddy is a. So, this is actually from 2009, right? All right. And if you and I were at a house party, I literally did this. I was like, Congratulations, man. You know, you're, you're getting married. You're, you're, you and your wife are having a kid. All That's right. great. I know you don't want to talk about this. I took this little piece of paper, folded it up, put it in his chest pocket, just uh, like that, uh. and said, Just look into it. Just look into it for yourself. Thank you. Welcome. Right? Because because it was just easier. And so it's just something like that. For example, yeah. this is what I'm talking about. I just said, take this, 
you know, I, we're at a party. We're all yeah, getting along. Yeah, we don't yeah. want to argue. We don't yeah, want to make everyone exactly, uncomfortable. Yeah. Fair, bang in your breast pocket, done. Think yeah, for yourself. Yeah. And uh, and that's how we did it. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So uh, then, then you're non-confrontational. We have no more time to be silent anymore and right. worry about what the other person is going to say or if they agree with us or not. I think we just have to come out and say what we believe and let the chips fall where they may. I think so. I also think, though, that we, we can be sensitive to where people are Absolutely. and say, I'm not going to, like, for example, you might be talking to me about something I don't know about or yeah. I don't want to talk yeah. about. Yeah. But if you say, look, I care about you, this is important, take this and research it for yourself, yeah. then that's an option too. Make your own decision there. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Mr. Ken, Ms. Judy, lovely yeah, to meet you. Pleasure. I'm going to get a few more folks. We're not crazy. Yeah. We're not making a racket <laughs> and not making sense. We're making a racket yeah. and making sense. Right. So there you go. Thank nice you to meet you nice both. To meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice Cheers. To meet you too. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Do you want to talk about what's in your sign? Just, you know, it's just sure. a depiction of what we're going through right now. With awesome. And your first name? Control. Cindy. Cindy. Cindy BK, nice to meet you. And your sign again. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, no, just about, you know, I think it speaks to what we're facing uh, with government control and uh, uh, selective information being told. It's quite telling. I got you. And it says here, COVID-1984. I've often used that uh, that uh, that for my videos. And the back, does the back say something? Two plus two, two equals five. Uh oh. It's from, it's from the from the book. Yeah, Orwell's Double Think. Yeah. You have to say it says five. Right. <laughs> awesome, awesome. C uh, Cindy, right? Yeah. Cindy, awesome. Anything else in your sign or what's going on? Uh, no, just you know what? Uh, this lockdowns are illogical, unsustainable. Uh, mm. Certainly, uh, they have at this point seem to have done more harm than good by the looks of things. Gotcha. And, uh, time to end them and get back.